Hey everybody and welcome to my pottery mold adventure. <laughs> my name is Amber and today we are going to pour my very first mold. I am so excited about this one. It is perfect for fall and Halloween and the minute I found it at the mold sale I just knew that I was going to be in love and I was so right because this mold has me smitten. <laughs> I'm absolutely obsessed. So I got started by opening it up and you can see that it is the cutest little pumpkin house that you could ever dream of. So I cleaned it out really good. There was a lot of like little cobwebs and things in there, popped a rubber band on and got it ready to pour. In my pottery apron, I totally look like <laughs> the little old lady who lives inside of this pumpkin house. And I'm not really all that mad about it. I kind of love the vibe. <laughs> There's a squirrel in our pottery shed and it's giving us ghosty vibes today. It's in the we... wall and I've actually seen it. It just ran across the ceiling as we're pouring the pumpkin house. Ooh. I think it's a squirrel. I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I feel like doing squirrels. <laughs> I think it is. That would be amazing it, if we were doing It squirrels. is brown, but I don't know. If Maybe it's a chipmunk. <gasps> Come on, where are you, little guy? The next day, it was time to open up the mold, and I was absolutely giddy with excitement. And the little squirrel who did not show itself was just adding to the spooky vibe. Seriously, I've been counting the days. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, are you ready? Ah! Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, let's see what the other side looks like. Come on, little one. Oh gosh. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I love it more than I could possibly ever have expected. Like it's got a little like skeleton right here. We've got leaves on top of the pumpkin and then we've got like shutters there's stone around the windows. The chimney is giving me Rapunzel vibes and the door is giving me like Snow White vibes. <laughs> like, this is the cutest thing I could ever hope for. I think I've officially decided in five seconds that I'm going to cut out these little window holes and put some twinkle lights in here so that way it can kind of like shine. This is gonna be amazing. Let's do it. The hardest part about this project was getting the little windows out. So it's not a skill that I've really mastered yet, but there's always this debris of clay behind the windows that you kind of have to smooth out, but the shape of this pumpkin made it a little tricky to do that. So getting all the windows out was definitely the trickiest part, but I was looking forward to painting this so much and I had two different ideas going through my mind. And so I rallied on and got all those windows out and it was totally worth it. After a really long week of waiting for my little pumpkin houses to be completely dry, I put them in the kiln for their first fire, and then it was time to glaze. Save the ghosts, save the animals, 
I think I'll go with the pastry. Okay. Tessa brought me the most adorable little menu for lunch. She loves to play restaurant and she loves to play in the kitchen and cook and get creative. And so she did a little pastry fall Halloween meal and it was so yummy and she did a really great job, but it was really sweet that she brought it out to me while I was glazing. So as I mentioned, I had two different design ideas for this little pumpkin house. The one that I'm sharing with you here is the first idea I had, which was just kind of a traditional orange pumpkin. And I kept the skull on this one because I felt like it was just perfect for like a Halloween vibe. So I did a lot of like texturing by wiping off the darker colors to kind of show that rustic look on the stone and on the shingles on the little rooftop because I really wanted it to look like it was old and kind of falling apart a little bit and I just felt like that was the perfect thing for a pumpkin house that is maybe tucked somewhere in the woods with fall leaves flying all over and so yeah I just absolutely loved this one but my second idea that I did, which I showed a little clip of when Tessa brought me my little lunch menu, is my favorite by far, <laughs> and I cannot wait to show you guys oh, the finished piece. I was just, it, the whole time I was painting this traditional orange pumpkin, this other idea was just floating around in my mind, begging to be created, and I think that if I lived in a pumpkin house, I think I would live in the second one. So you guys will have to let me know which one you would rather live in, the traditional orange pumpkin or my quilt pumpkin. And then once I finished, it was finally time for the most rewarding part of the process. And that was to put my glazed pieces into the kiln for their glaze fire. And here they are. We have first the traditional pumpkin, the orange with the kind of like rustic look and the little skull. And I used a little bit darker colors for the greenery on here. I just, I loved it. And the little splash of yellow on the tower, it was just so traditional. But this second one, my quilt pumpkin is just my pride and joy of this fall season. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with it in every single way I could possibly be in love with a piece of pottery. So again, you're gonna have to let me know which one's your favorite, the quilt cottage or the traditional pumpkin. I, it's such a close call. They're both just so magical, but Oh my goodness, this was the perfect project for me to start my little mold journey on, and I'm so happy I got to share it with y'all. So thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye!